September sees our first star test of five, which all pupils complete. Our first star test provides us with a baseline from which to measure development. It also provides an individual diagnostic report of every child's reading skills and ability with guidelines as to how they can further progress. From this test, individualised targets are established for each pupil and recorded in their planners. These targets focus on developing the individual's reading skills at whatever their level of ability. This way, each child can achieve progress and develop their own reading, not relying on the text being set by the average ability of their class or a group of their peers, but their own specific level. I am a reading support teacher here in Killigamayan, and that means that I took three boys um, for one period a week. Um, they could read well, but were reluctant to read 20 minutes a day. So my job was to encourage them to do that, and with the help of the librarian, we picked appropriate books to their um, age level, and our aim was to raise their reading um, age. Um, so they came every week, and they quizzed, and they read books, and we discussed them, and over a period of time, they were able to be rewarded for that in assembly or raise their reading age and this was a very successful project for them. Okay boys, now we're starting a new session on reading uh, this year and we have already done our STAR test and we've got our new ZPD um, to look at. So Jason, do you want to tell me what yours was then? Uh, 4.026. Okay, so we'll look for a book then that falls into that. What about you, Daniel? 4.5 to 8.4. Okay, super. And Daniel, what about you? 3.8 to 5.8. Great. So will we go over now and have a look at the books yeah. and see what we can find? Okay, okay great. Okay, Daniel, so remind me what yours was again. 4.5 to 8.4. Right, let's look and see if we can find a book between that then. Now, what about this one here? We can see it says on the spine 5.8, 10 days to zero. Do you think you might be interested in that? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, great. So you check that one to work on. Right, Daniel, what about you? Again, 3.8 to 5.8. Right, so what about, let's see, there we go, 4.8, that would fit in, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah, so we can be heroes. Looks good. Yeah. Right, super. Okay, Jason, what uh, about yours? 4 to 6.2. 426.2, let me see now. What about this one? Maybe Jaws yeah. of Death. Yeah. Looks good, yeah. Um, and here's 5.4, so that would be perfect. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, super. So, boys, we'll um, have a look at those and then maybe get back together and you can tell me a bit about them. Yeah. All right, great. Okay. Accelerated Reader is a way to test people in books. Um, it's more likely you're going to win prizes if you um, read more books, for example, skipping the queue pass, free lunch and non-uniforms. Um, it's a way for the teachers to, te to check up on if you're reading enough. Um, it will also help in your English and your vocabulary for getting higher marks. I think it is a fun quizzing on books that um, you like and it's it's sometimes a challenge. I think you should try it. Well, how did you get on, Rachel? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. That's brilliant. Your target for accuracy is 85% mm -hmm. and you got 100%, which is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Your target is 22.8 um, points and you've managed 6.5% of that roughly and your book level is sitting at the moment at 4.1 and your target's 5 so you're doing really really well. What's most impressive is this, look at that, 10,500 words right, doesn't that sound nice? Mm -hmm. Good girl. Accelerated Reader has helped me a lot. It encouraged me to read more and made me realise that reading is something that I love to do. I have won an award for achieving the most improved in my class. I was proud to win something for doing something that I love. Excel Reader Reader is great, and I think if pupils read more, then they would be happier doing so. Hello, my name is Mr Whitehead. I'm a Year 10 form tutor, a science teacher, and also a PE teacher. I really enjoy the Accelerated Reader. It really gives us, this, in students uh, an enthusiasm about reading. It helps reward them. As you can see from the display behind me, we have a reward system in school which I support as a form tutor. So I refer to this chart on the wall 
and it just helps them to see how many words they need to read in a certain time period or how many books or what they need to get and what we call star tests. In terms of star tests, there are five throughout the year, so at certain dates, so students, now we're at the end of September, students have just completed their first one, so in a, in a week or so's time I know that I'm going to get a booklet and that booklet will contain everything I need, so it will have reading ages, it will have uh, scores on, so there's star, star test scores, and that helps the students to identify what books they need to get when they go in their library, so a student might score um, 5.0 for example, so they'll go into the library and pick out a book that's at 5.0 and they'll bring it back and then I'll encourage them to read and ask them questions. So maybe go around the room and ask, ask certain students questions. So try and keep reading fun, try and keep it interesting and also give them a target to aim for. So as you can see, as a form tutor at Killy Kameen, I also get um, data and feedback so I might get a chart of my pupils' progress and I share that with them as well and also an individual breakdown of what they got throughout our five, five tests. In terms of science, I use reading on a regular basis, whether it's just casual reading um, on a worksheet, for example, for questions, or I might set them particular homeworks. But I try to bring that accelerated reader experience into the classroom as well. I was so shocked to win um, the highest achiever in my class because the thing is, I didn't even try to do well. I just uh, did what I had to do, and I paid off. My mum was so proud whenever I came back with a certificate um, of ex from Accelerated Reader and it has helped me a lot. I see Accelerated Reader as a vital tool um, in my role as year head in the school. I'm able to talk to the pupils in my year group in an informal manner about their reading ages and their interest in reading. I've also been able to use my year head assemblies to celebrate their success in this project and they have been rewarded in all levels um, throughout the, um, the year group for raising their um, reading ages and for reaching their targets and for scoring um, their one million or two million words and getting their badges and this has really um, raised the profile of reading and um, raised their interest in it. Okay so remember you got your ZPDs people and I spoke to you about how you were reading within that zone and then you were set certain targets that you recorded in your planners. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes? yes. yes? Okay. Right, so this is the feedback after the first lot of quizzing that you've done. Remember, we all read a story last week together, didn't we? And then you went and quizzed on that. So, here I have, and this is what I'll talk to you about every week, your target history report. Okay? And it tells me your accuracy, remember, which is the thing I'm talking about and interested in. And what's the accuracy that we're aiming for? You remember, Harry? 100%. 100% would be brilliant. But what do I really, really want you to be getting, Sam? 80 plus. 85 plus. Okay, so close enough. Then you all have your individual points targets. Yeah. And then you have your book levels here as well. And those three targets are the things on which you can be rewarded over the course of this process leading up to November's next star test, okay? So, so far, I can see that one, two, three... Four people have taken quizzes above and beyond what I did with you last week. Now, hands up if you took a quiz today. One, two, three, four, five, six of you. That's fantastic. And how did you get on, Rachel? I got 100%. That's fantastic, too. Well done. And who else said, Amy, you took one? Um, I got one wrong. But I got one wrong. You got one wrong, so you got 90% accuracy. Yeah. So that's fantastic. Okay. Okay, and Ryan, what did you get in your quiz? 100%. 100%, fantastic. Joseph, what did you get? 100%. 100%. If you get 60% or more, remember, that will add to your points total. But we're aiming for 85% accuracy or more because that tells us that the reading that you're doing, your understanding, and it's developing your vocabulary and your grammatical knowledge in your heads as well. Okay? So I can see here those people, Spencer... You have achieved 103% of your points target already, which is fantastic. And I can see that Harry has done another quiz as well. And whilst he only has 26% of his points achieved, he's got 85% accuracy, which is great. Um, Spencer, your accuracy is down a little bit, so we'll concentrate on improving the accuracy, okay? Whilst your points target is doing really, really well. 
I can see that Nathan has both the accuracy, 85%, and his points target already achieved way ahead of the game. Hi, Nathan. And Nathan, you have nearly achieved all three of your targets. You've got 85% accuracy, you've 107% of your points target achieved, and you're only 0.4 away from hitting your book level target. So that's really, really, really incredible because not many people hit all three of their targets. So that's really, really good. Well done, Nathan. Thank you. And Amy, you've 73% of your points target on 80% accuracy and only 0.1 away from getting your book level as well. <coughs> The other people, I can see that they have only quizzed on the book that I read to them last week. Now, a few people have raised their hand and said that they have quizzed this week. So come next week when I print out this report, I'll be able to see who's adding to their totals. All right? The one that I really am interested in is the 85%. The ones you guys get prizes and skip the queue passes and no uniform today, rewards for and that kind of thing other book levels and the points and the 85% all together. But the one I'm really looking at is the 85%. Okay? So well done to those people who I've mentioned individually. Some other people in the room need to be actively quizzing a little bit more. It's quite easy to tell if people aren't reading it as they won't be quizzing. And there's a good reward system which helps people push, push people to better standards. And it's easy to record your progress so you can help manage it and get better and improve and beat other people. And yeah, so new targets are set regularly and you've got your word count and your uh, reading age, which is quite easy to improve on. If you read better books and your vocabulary will improve and everything else. And some rewards are also quite easily won and some are even presented at prize night. Okay, Robbie, so I just wanted to talk to you about how you're getting on with your targets um, and getting on towards achieving those. So you're 85% accuracy. You've done two quizzes and then you did another one today. Um, so 85% accuracy at the beginning of the library period, but what's really impressive is that you've 41.9% of your points target achieved, and that's the thing that will get you all of the rewards, um, your know, skip the queue passes and things like that, and they're going to be drawn on Wednesday actually for kids who have been doing it up until this point. And your book level you can see here is 4.7 and your target's 5, so that's fantastic. Now what do we notice about your score today? What did you get? Out of 10. 7 out of 10. So will that maybe affect your accuracy a wee bit? Yeah. Yeah. When did you finish reading the book? Um, about a month or two ago. About a month or so ago. And when are you supposed to quiz on a book? After you've read it. Yeah, within a couple of days of finishing it. Okay. So whilst that's great because it'll still give you a few points, it'll maybe bring down that accuracy. And that's the one I'm really interested in. Okay? Good man. Keep the reading up there. Books are my favourite thing to read. I like to read books such as Tom Gates. Inspiration was one of the most things that helped me improve my reading. I used to have a bad creative mind when I came into Kilkemain, but then I started doing a programme called Accelerated Reader. Then it improved my creativity. Thank you, Accelerated Reader. Okay guys, so this is star test number five, the last one of the year. You know how to get there, you go to your homepage, view all, and custom and accelerated reader. When you log in, then you're clicking onto the star rating option to complete your star test. So remember these results are important. So take your time, read the questions, and try to get the best result for you. This is the one that will go home and show your progress for the full year. Accelerated Reader has encouraged me to read more books. I won my first million words in October and I now have five million. Accelerated Reader helps encourage people to read more books and have fun. You feel proud whenever you get your certificate at the front of assembly and as you gain the achievement. It's really fun because you can do competition against other people and then win prizes. Reading is clearly essential for employability and for education as well as for pleasure. Reading levels in Northern Ireland have been causing great concern for many years. 
Your reading, the reading age is directly connected to how well a pupil will do a GCSE and beyond that. Clearly as a school we need to know whether children's reading is improving or not. The Accelerated Reading Programme uh, provides us with accurate information and enables us to track whether a pupil's reading age is improving and if it's not, what we can do about it. As such, it has provided us with an invaluable teaching tool to facilitate the improvement of reading throughout the school. I have really enjoyed using the Accelerated Reader Programme and have seen many benefits. The programme is a greatly rewarding way to get reading and have some fun. You can be competitive or focus on understanding and enjoying the books you read. With great prizes and rewards, it is a proud moment when you reach your targets. I, ha I have really enjoyed competing against certain classmates and reaching my targets. I beat her. Only just. <laughs>